Hi, I'm Rob from RobNoFoto.com and in today's video we're going to be tackling the sticky problem of audio or lip sync problems with your um, Logitech C920 HD uh, webcam. Now the C920, which is uh, my webcam of choice, um, is a fantastic piece of kit. It can record 1080p video, um, has an amazing lens, has proper autofocus. Um, but it's kind of the fly in the ointment, if you like, is the fact that it can pretty much overwhelm um, less powerful systems. I mean, my laptop is an Intel Core i5, um, 2.6 gigahertz with four gigabytes of RAM. But if I run at um, 1080p um, or even uh, 720, and I use uh, the, the settings out of the box, you definitely get audio sync problems where, where eventually over the length of the video, the uh, the audio is out of sync and uh, can, it doesn't look very precious at all. So what I'm gonna show you here is, is the settings you could use to help avoid that. Give them a go and see if they work. And really it's all just about turning off, uh, well, altering the compression that you use and then turning off the automatic settings so that the uh, cam isn't really having to do anything in terms of thinking about it and your computer isn't really. So what we want to do is obviously you've installed all the software and uh, I'm using Windows 8 but it'd be similar on XP or uh, Windows 7 or Vista. You'll have some sort of little icon, it looks like a little eyeball standing. Um, it could be in your in the expanded tray, it could be the other one. Just double click it on it and then get the Logitech webcam software uh, up here like this. And the first thing we want to do is we want to go into the preferences. And then in the preferences, in the general, sorry, in the quick capture tab, um, I've put the microphone input all the way, but these are the two things we want to muck around with. The audio recording quality, you want to zap up to the highest quality. So we're not applying much compression at all. So again, the idea is that the, the, the cam and the computer aren't having to worry about compressing the audio as they're recording it. They're just really just throwing it onto the hard drive. And then the other thing is the video recording quality, we want to change that to lossless. Now, the C920, although it's a very good cam, it's not a uh, DSLR, or it's not a professional level cam. So even when it says large file sizes under lossless, they're not very large. You know, with modern um, hard drives, you're not, it's not going to be an issue unless you record hundreds and hundreds of videos, then obviously you're going to be deleting them as you go along. So you change that video recording quality to lossless. And again, we're making it so that the camera and the computer don't have to think about compressing the video. As it's coming out of the, the, the camera, they're just throwing it onto the hard drive and, and record it that way. So then we save that and then we go into the, so, that, they're the basic settings we should keep all the time. And then when we come to do a video, we want to go into quick capture. Hello, that's me. Hi, good to see you. Um, and then make sure it's on video. And then we, what we want to do is we want to keep our um, resolution down to 720p. 720p is HD. Um, it looks fantastic on most computers and televisions. It definitely looks fantastic on mobile devices such as tablets and smartphones. You know, don't bother with 1080. Stay at 720. Um, it, it, it's, it's more than good enough for anything. Then we go into the webcam options. We can leave right sound uh, ticked, um, but we're gonna take off right light. Now what's important is when you go to do this, always do it when you've set up your lighting. Wherever you're gonna be sitting down to record your, your podcast or your video or whatever. Go the lighting first, leave everything on automatic until you're almost ready to go. And then what you do is you just click off right light. We don't want that. Leave autofocus on, leave right sound on. Then we're going to advanced settings. And let's just move this over here so we can see what we're doing. And as you can see, right light would have been clicked, but we unclick it. And then the other thing we do is because we're all set up, we don't need you to work anything out now. So unclick the gain. And then what we want to do is with the white balance, if it's not on auto already, just click on auto so that the camera, you know, will set the, the white balance that's appropriate. If you don't think it's got it's quite right, like in this one, I look a little bit blue, turn it off auto and then adjust it a little bit to get a little bit closer. You know, at this point, you can also muck around with the brightness and contrast if you wanted to, but don't muck around too much because you can end up um, obviously spoiling things. And when you've got it looking the way you like, just leave it and you notice all the auto things, apart from auto focus and auto sound, are all 
turned off and let's just save that so now and then we can click done on that and now we're ready to go so we're in a situation where the only thing that the camera's got to do to concentrate on is auto focus that's all it's got to do um, it doesn't have to worry about exposure because the light's not going to change it doesn't have to worry about white balance that's that's, that's what's going to change and in my experience doing this um, making sure we shoot a maximum of 720p making sure that we change the audio quality and the video quality to lossless and DVD quality means that your lip sync and audio sync problems will be greatly reduced if not completely got rid of. It still might be slightly out at the end of a long video but I'm pretty sure you can have much much better results. So there we go, do that and you'll probably fall in love with your C920 once again and get the best out of it. Well my name's Rob from robnanphoto.com, you can email me scalespeeder at gmail.com and uh, thanks for watching.